Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome to my humble boat. Come on in. Thank you. All right, then. Do you love NYC? I do. Why? Because it's the best city in the world. This is a very interesting place. Well, how, of course. How do you define this home of yours? Uh, my home is dark, sexy, weird, eccentric, full of character, full of color, and full of life. Just like yourself. That's right. Yeah. Now, one thing that reminds of your first days as a comedian. Probably my giant free sex advice sign that was done in Neon by an artist named Ben Copperweed. Bring it on. Um, it was for my podcast called You're Welcome, and I tricked people into sitting down in a booth and talking to me about their sex lives. Uh, but actually, I'm not exactly sure where it is right now, so I don't know, maybe we'll move on. <laughs> but you do have some great movements there. Are I you do. also kind of like a dancer? I, well, I mean, not classically trained, but I can shake my ass like the best of them. Do a little shake. A little shake? Yes, I only got that, You have to give me some money first. <laughs> okay, right. I'll, we'll, I'll put that or down on the table first, later. So, you know, it's either one. Let's do this. Silliest thing about Williamsburg is? The amount of coffee shops and barber shops on every single corner. There's probably six of each on my one block. And people in New York are too obsessed with? Money. And New York City would die if? Delivery shut down. Oh, that makes sense. Absolutely. But why? Because people are fat and lazy and I and we can barely get out of bed in the morning on Sunday, let alone like actually go to a store and cook something for themselves. I don't even have a kitchen for fuck's sake. <laughs> I want to know if there's one thing that you own uh, that you're proud of. Uh, well, many things. One of them is the graffiti that I made for my girlfriend of her in a bear costume. Another yeah. is a commission painting my friend Julia Cota did for me uh, that was supposed to be me and my dog. And the third would be the most gorgeous animal in the whole world, one sing a bear nightingale. Cutie, how yeah. old is she? She's 14. Is she your best, best friend in New York? Soulmate and life partner. Cool. Can I ask three best places to see comedy shows in New York City? Uh, the best comedy is always Comedy Cellar uh -huh. in West Village and UCB for improv comedy is the best. And I would also go to any drag show because drag queens are the funniest. All right. I, I get you. Yeah. Now, um, do you have something that's very embarrassing? Uh, I mean, everything in my apartment is embarrassing. I mean, the sin over my bed. I don't know, like... <laughs> Any of the like, you know, the DIY college shit I've had for 15 years. My clothes I got in like Forever 21 10 years ago. Everything in here is embarrassing, yeah. I think you're a lovely person. Well, you shouldn't you. be embarrassed I about anything. That. What's the worst question you can get as a comedian? It's always the same, which is uh, prove that you're funny or tell me a joke. And you just want to shove your fist right up their tongue. You know, I want to go back to that whole sex advice thing. Sure. What, what's your one sex advice for uh, every New Yorker? Uh, drugs work and safety last. All right, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I also want to know, um, have you married New York City yet? Not yet. I'm still, I'm still taking uh, offers from other places. All right. Mm -hmm. Which other places are you taking offers from? It's always the same, you know, LA, Berlin, uh, Paris, you know, uh, but okay. like, it's, it's hard to leave. There's really, once you're here, it's very hard to leave. What does New York City uh, have to tell you in order for you to say yes to the proposal? <laughs> They'd have to give me a lot more money with no prenup. <laughs> you know, time is up, so time we have up. to go. God, bye, guys. Yes, yeah, thank you so Don't much for door, having us. On the way out. It's been a real pleasure. It has bye been bye a now. lovely time. Bye.